The way I describe it is that we're like a parasitic HR company that can help people understand what it is to bring disparate groups of people together who have no, no uh, intrinsic need to like each other except now they're working together. So how do you create connections? How do you create meaningful moments? How do you keep excitement going? How do you keep, um, how do you, how do you keep the day-to-day -day dynamic? Um, and how do you continue to challenge yourself to produce something that's greater than what you as, as an individual could create? Um, all of those things I just mentioned are things that we face every single day in Choir, Choir, Choir as the managers or the founders of it. Um, we, we, at home, we do twice weekly singing events at Clinton's Tavern these days. Um, and we essentially do the same thing every single week. So how do we repackage it so that we can get people to get how excited? How we can be excited about uh, it. Yeah, how, how can we be excited about it? And then therefore, how do we present it so that other people in our group will be excited about it and come out again and again and again and continue to grow? Um, and we've got many things that we've done, um, and I wouldn't even say that they were things that we thought of necessarily, but just d we've learned so much. Our talk is very much about looking back in terms of how we went to the next level. And a lot of the time it had to do with partnering with different people and different and, and, and the idea of expanding collaboration. collaboration, the idea of expanding our reach. Um, you could say expanding the definition of what our brand is. Um, enriching what it means to be choir, choir, choir through all of these different collaborations and the things that we've learned. Everything from helping a kid get a date to the prom to working with Atiyah Khan, a, a first-time filmmaker who made a film called A Better Man. We, didn't, we knew each other, we knew who we, the other person was, but it wasn't like we sort of came together, it was a mutual friend's birthday and there was sort of a choir thing that Nobu was asked to arrange and a bunch of people ended up at his house rehearsing a song for a mutual friend and I came in and I was playing guitar as part of this maybe a dozen people. And we did something at this friend's birthday and it was really fun and people liked it. And we thought we should do this again and it didn't happen. But I would see Nobu around because he'd come into the restaurant. So it seems like every three months I'd look at him and I'd be like, oh, we should do that choir thing again. And he'd be like, yeah. And I'd be like, anyway, I want a coffee? And I'd get him and I'd serve him. And then one day, two years later, I looked at him and I was like, let's, I was just really sort of depressed. And it was just the winter and I was kind of like writing and I was a, a, a singer and songwriter and I was just kind of feeling like I was moving away from that and it was kind of like I was giving up on this musical dream I had and I kind of looked at Nobu and I was like let's just do that I wanted to do something musical I was like let's do that choir thing and he looked at me he's like okay what do we do and I was like I don't know he's like all right so I kind of went to his house and we said we or and we just made an invite well he put a call out to some friends who would come out if I did this kind of singing night and people were responsive enough and then we made an invite and we called it choir 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 just because it was like He's like, what are we going to name this thing? And I was like, how about like choir, choir, choir? Like, I'm, oh my God, there's a choir. <laughs> That's what it was. So it became the name of the first event. And we did a singing at Friends Real Estate Office. We did a, we did a night there, uh, another friend of ours, and we went there and it felt really good. And we didn't know if we would do it again, but it was clear by the end of the first night that people wanted to do it again right away. It just grew really quickly. And more people were coming out. There was a lot of excitement and a lot of support from people around us. So... And it just, it never stopped. So it just kind of was this thing that we had to sort of keep up with. And we just, you know, it's never stopped sort of growing. There was no boost of expanding, like what it is. It used to be like, it started with 20 people singing in a real estate office on Queen Street. But now it's like, you know, we'll be an American Idol on Sunday. You know, it's like, you know, who knows? We had no idea that it would become this thing.